Hello, my name is Kurt, and today I will be talking about the astrological placement of Venus and Scorpio. Now, if you're interested in astrology, you probably read in books, or read online, or watch videos of people talking about Venus and Scorpio, and you get the generic stuff like, oh, these people want an intense partner, they're possessive, they are mysterious, etc., etc., etc. Now, how you are as an individual highly depends on the other planets in your chart. You are not exactly just one sign. You are all of the signs combined. So I will tell you guys what it's like to be a Venus in Scorpio from personal experience, from what I went through in my life. So you guys could know what a Venus in Scorpio individual is like. And I will tell you all my other planets as well. Now, this is a very fascinating placement. A lot of people say the planet is in exile and it's, it's kind of like a bad thing and this is like the worst place to have your Venus in, blah, blah, blah. To me, I actually enjoy this because it allows me to get more experience in life and it's not all fun and games, you know? Like, it's, it's not all la la land. Like, I acknowledge and understand the dark side of life because I've been through it. Every single relationship that I've been through has been extremely transformative and always was chaotic, crazy, and ended maybe on a bad note, but it strengthened me as an individual and it solidified the idea that my astrological placements kind of determine how my life will go, what kind of partners I will attract, etc., etc. Now, let's get to the root of all things. I tend to attract sort of chaotic, unstable, maybe partners into the occult, etc., because that is kind of what I am inside. You know, that is that that is my energy radiating and attracting that to me. My Venus is in Scorpio, so it will attract partners like that to me. Not necessarily Scorpio people, but people who maybe behave like Scorpios and whatnot. Now, it's funny because I've always had a deep interest in the occult. Always. Like, I was always into, like, I was like, oh, maybe I should look into Wicca. Maybe I should try some of these tarot cards. Maybe I should do this and that. But I kind of never acted upon it because I was like, eh, whatever. Like, I tried it. Like I said, I tried tarot and I tried candle stuff and whatever. And it's like, eh, it wasn't good enough for me. Because... Venus in Scorpio is kind of like all or nothing. I do not want to dabble in candle stuff. I do not want to dabble in tarot. I want to go all the way. My life is like kind of an experience that teaches me metaphysical things. Every experience that I have, every relationship that I had, every sexual encounter that I have teaches me as an individual about energy and different frequencies and different people that I meet and astrology is very interesting to me because it shows me the different side of life and how people interact and all these things. So let's get to it. Venus and Scorpio. Let's see. It's pretty interesting. Like I said before, I am attracted, very highly attracted. Like I said, the book does list a lot of things right. I am a person who is attracted to mysterious people. I am a person who is kind of possessive in relationships. But, like I said, it, had a lot, it has a lot to do with all the other planets in your birth chart. Now, I have Moon in Taurus, luckily. Because with this placement, Venus in Scorpio, if I had a Moon in Gemini, a Moon in Scorpio, or a Moon in Aries, I would have sex with everything and everyone. I would live out every single fetish known to to man and I wouldn't be ashamed of it I would go for it because that energy would give me that um, that drive to do those things but I have a moon in Taurus so I am very reserved thankfully I do not act upon my sexual desires the best way I would describe myself is as being a sexual atomic bomb <laughs> waiting to explode a sexual atomic bomb 
just waiting for the perfect partner. I wait and I wait and I wait. And the fetishes grow and the desires grow and the sexual energy grows. And then once I fixate on a partner and once everything goes my way and I figure them out entirely, psychologically, metaphysically, everything, and I decide to open up to them and actually have sex with them, it is like a freaking mind-expanding experience for both of us. We are transported into another dimension. Four hours could pass and we were like, what the hell, like, you know, just went on, you know, it's like, it, like we get lost in the moment. It's, it's, it's a very, it's a, it's a blending of energies. It's not just that I'm thrusting uh, my penis into a vagina and yeah, I ejaculate, that's it. No, it's I get lost in everything. The breath upon, her breath upon my neck, you know, me placing my hands in her hands and grabbing them and her screaming like all these things and like you know the the scent of her her you know fluids and all this stuff like it drives me wild and I get lost in that and that has a lot to do with my Taurus nature too I like sensual things I like smells I like touch I like this and that but the Venus and Scorpio aspect allows me to dig deeper and get lost in that, to realize that this is a magical, mystical moment occurring right now. It's not all physical. We are merging with energies and we are getting lost in this experience together. And they say Scorpio is, is the, the energy of transformation and it is true. I do know how to take in various energies and I know how to transmute them and transform them. So if like you know I usually attract partners with some kind of instability or whatever and once I kind of have a relationship with them or once I sleep with them whatever we kind of fix each other you know we instill knowledge in each other and we fix each other that is the transformative part of Scorpio now a lot of people say Scorpio planets are very manipulative very possessive this is somewhat true maybe maybe not manipulative like I am, I am fascinated by manipulation and I am interested in manipulation, but I don't not necessarily act out on it. Again, it's my moon and Taurus nature that kind of keeps me grounded and doesn't make me a, a complete lunatic, you know. Um, I enjoy observing like the, the essence of manipulation. Like I watch Charles Manson interviews and I watch various other interviews like this and I, I, I try to figure out how those people kind of live like that and like what made them tick and, and how they pulled off what they pulled off and I find it fascinating that one person could have such an impact on, 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 uh, on society on a variety of different other things whether it's positive or negative so yeah the Venus and Scorpio aspect is very very interesting I am very possessive in my relationships whenever uh, there was this situation that my girlfriend's female friend we were hanging out somewhere and then she took my girlfriend's hand and then like she just kind of played it off oh yeah blah 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 we're having fun and I'm like on hand my woman and then, like she's like oh no but but it's okay like it's not a big deal like whatever doesn't this like turn you on or something I said get your fucking hands off my girl like I know you are friends and I know you've probably been friends before I even showed up into the whole picture or whatever into the relationship whatever but you gotta understand that this is now sort of my woman so you cannot mess with that you know and then she got very pissed off and like like whatever but I don't care like I said I don't fucking hide anything because hiding things is not my nature I have a lot of Sagittarius energy I do not like try to hide anything what I say the truth and this possessive nature and whatever makes it even worse so if something pisses me off I'll say it like I said so that was pretty interesting that was pretty funny and I might I might come off like an asshole to a lot of people but I don't care because that's just who I am I am going to acknowledge my nature and be who I am and I know someday I will find a powerful woman that will be there with me and will help me kind of live life and stuff and, and make life a more enjoyable experience you know I do not want a weak partner. I do not want a partner who is... I like a partner who is submissive, but I like a partner who radiates. This will say, they will say this in the books too, but it's true. That radiates mystery. Like, 
those soft-spoken females that wear all black and like, like they talk like, ah, blah, 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 blah. but in reality, like my Venus and Scorpio aspect allows me to penetrate to the true essence of what they are, and I know they are crazy sexual beasts just waiting to be unleashed. Like I see that, and that's the other thing about Venus and Scorpio or any planet in Scorpio is that we can see through the bullshit. So, for example, if a girl happens to figure out that, oh yeah, he likes kind of like occult stuff and whatever, so I'm gonna start wearing black and I'm gonna start, you know, putting on black eyeliner and I'm gonna wear a pentagram or whatever because that's what he likes and, you know, he'll find it sexy or whatever. That is, the, that, that is not what works. If there's a girl that kind of likes me and starts suddenly or even if she was wearing like black and all that stuff before, like I could, I could look into the essence of a person. I know what they're about. So if you just wear black and, and you have a pentagram, but you don't know goddamn anything about the occult and, and you don't know shit, you're like pretty much a poser that is not attractive to me. That shows me that you are kind of uh, a chameleon. You shift. If a guy likes basketball, you'll fucking be a cheerleader. If a guy likes, um, freaking um i don't know collecting comics you'll become a nerd i do not like that i do not like false identities and i do not like fake people you cannot be fake by me i will see through all your bullshit that's why i have very few friends that's why relationships are very hard people may say oh he's picky he's picky that is true i've turned down not to brag or anything but i've turned down probably around 40 or so women in my lifetime already because I do not click. They try to get to me. They're like, they, they, they wear black and they're like, oh yes, let's talk about tarot cards and all this stuff. And, or, or they talk about uh, my favorite bands. They find out what my favorite band is. They're like, oh, let's talk about Nirvana. Let's talk about this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it doesn't work because to me, it's like, I do not like giving up information about myself. I like analyzing my mate you know so if they're trying to blend into my energies and trying to, to be like me then that kind of is a false identity it doesn't allow me to see their true nature so like I said I do attract a lot of females they are drawn to me and I never understood why like because I always thought of myself as this like weird freaking gothic emo wannabe kid like I never dressed in like black and never uh, uh, painted my fingernails black and, and all that stuff but I, I had this true, like, dark, kind of uh, gothic, emotional thing. Like, the songs I listen to go by the titles of, like, The Pretty Reckless, Make Me Wanna Die, The Pretty Reckless, um, you know, Hit Me Like a Man, The Pretty Reckless, etc. Or other bands, you know, like, 30 Seconds to Mars, The Kill. Like, it has to be, like, something cool. Or it could even be, like, something, like, like, I hope that I don't fall in love with you. You know, like, 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 it has to be emotional and it has to be twisted in its nature a little bit. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. You know, it's, it's a very interesting sign to have. And that's why I don't not have a lot of real relationships because I probe and I analyze and I pick and I choose and I keep going and I, I back off you know that's the Scorpio nature you you go in you sting them a little bit and then you back out and they're and then you see if they're willing enough to chase me and willing enough to keep talking to me even after I just said you know I'll move on but the truth is I'm not moving on I am there in the shadows waiting and waiting and waiting you know so I sting you know I let them see a little bit of myself and then I, I let them know that I'm interested and then I run away and then they have to kind of chase me. They chase me, chase me. It's like, it's like a scorpion luring its prey into its den, you know, something like that. So that's kind of how it is. So if there's a girl I like, like I I'll talk to her like for, for like one hour or two hours, whatever. And then all of a sudden I'll completely stop talking to her and she'll call me. I won't pick up the phone. She'll message me. I, I might not respond, whatever. Like they think I'm a, I'm a freaking asshole and they think I'm probably not interested in them. But this is how I get my mates. Like, I want to see how willing they are. Are they as possessive as I am? Are they willing to send me 20 messages a day even after I don't talk to them for a week? Do they want to send, do they want to call me three times a day even if I don't want to talk to them? It's not 
that I'm an asshole and just want them to send me 20 messages a day for a week to make them suffer. No, you know, I take it easy. They send me three messages a day, I don't respond. They send me three more messages the other day, I don't respond. And then eventually when I get the hint that they kind of really want to talk to me, whatever, I'll be like, hey, what's up? And I'll act like nothing ever happened. They're like, what were you doing? Like, what, what the hell? Like, like, I'm like, well, I wasn't doing nothing, blah, blah. I was just waiting for them to kind of, I was waiting for the right moment to call them. And this is the true dark, manipulative nature of any person with Scorpio aspects in their chart. But Venus in Scorpio is a very prominent, like I actually acknowledge myself more as a Scorpio right now and more of a Taurus than kind of like, obviously I do have my Sagittarius aspects. I am a philosopher. I do like these things, but like, I like the dark nature of things, like I said. I am interested in Anton LaVey, I am interested in Aleister Crowley, like I, those people are interesting to me because Aleister Crowley was a Scorpio and you know, I'm very fascinated by these people and I, I see how powerful they are and secretly I crave that power too, but I don't act out on it because like I said, I have a moon in Taurus which keeps my nature very reserved, it's like, eh, fuck it, you know, I'll just study about this stuff, I'll wait it out, wait it out, maybe one day I'll be like the next Anton LaVey or something, who knows, but until then I'm just gonna sit on my ass oh yeah and another thing is any planet in Scorpio has sort of a tendency to have addictions to sex drugs um, you know smoking and stuff like that like, like I said it depends on all the other aspects in your chart if I had a moon in Gemini moon and even Sagittarius Aries whatever I would be a drunk I would fucking be a drug addict like I would I would take every single substance in the world every day and I wouldn't care but, like I said, I have a very reserved nature. I am drawn to those things, but I do not act out on them all the time. And a lot of Scorpio people are smokers, and obviously I am an occasional smoker. I like to savor it. I like to enjoy it. See? It's the Venus and Scorpio aspects that makes me kind of seek this out, this, this enjoyment. But it's the Taurus nature that kind of makes me appreciate it and not fucking drive me crazy with it. You know, it's like I like to sit down and enjoy the flavors of the tobacco or whatever. I like to feel the tobacco leaves and all that stuff whereas another person like for example moon in aries and venus in scorpio and stuff like that they would smoke a cigarette right after a cigarette one right after another because they are addicted they just want that fix they just want to feel that buzz that energy whatever but me it's like i don't see the point because if you overdo it it doesn't like kind of feel good anymore it doesn't work like you overdo it you know so that's sort of my astrological placements and it's and it's really cool like I like analyzing these things but yes like I said I do like uh, women